Hey, Mr. Sam. Hey, wow, you are fast. Well, you know, I like to measure myself all the time. Oh, yeah? Not like how tall I am, but I like to measure how fast I am. Ah. Because you know I am fast. Because I always train for these stupid Nutella. Well, they're not stupid, they're great triathlons. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about measurement and how you can measure things, measure how fast something moves, or like, how am I fast or am I moving at five miles an hour? or six, or seven, or eight, or whatever. So that today we're gonna to talk about measurement and the importance of measurement. Hey, today we're gonna to talk about measurement. Yeah. Yeah, you saw me running fast right there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, which is a certain kind of measurement. And then we're gonna talk also about uh, when you can measure that amount, with like the numbers. numbers. Yeah. And then also we're gonna talk about uh, scientific notation. So that's kind of fun. How do yeah. you deal with really big numbers, like yep. when I'm going really, really fast? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna talk about today, okay? All right, we've got three candles in front of us. We're going to do uh, look at some types of measurements on these candles, uh, quantitative and qualitative measurements. So I just told you there are three candles. That's a quantitative measurement because that talks about a quantity. So, so it's like a about, number, isn't it's it? It's a number. Quantitative measurements have a number. That's on cool. Them. So three candles. Now I could also take my little ruler here and I could measure this candle. Okay, this candle. Uh, looks like it's about, oh, I don't know, a little over 10 centimeters, so that's a measurement. I could measure this one. This one is 4 centimeters. So this one, 10 centimeters, 4 centimeters, those are quantitative. I would just like call that the tall candle. Yeah, or the tall candle and the short candle. That's qualitative measurement. Okay. Okay, no numerical value assigned to that. Um, now, this one is wider than the other two. It's fat one. It's the fat candle. Okay, so that's a qualitative measurement. This is the skinny candle, qualitative measurement, or I could measure it. This one, it's about about four centimeters wide, and this one's about one centimeter wide, so that's a quantitative measurement. Now, um, you could use a, a, a thermocouple and measure the, the temperature of the flames, and then, I'm not actually going to do it because this isn't a thermocouple, I'm going to pretend, but that would be uh, probably yeah. about five or six hundred degrees Celsius, all the flames could be, so that'd be a quantitative measurement, I could measure a new So it sounds to me like quantitative have like numbers involved. Yep. If you have a quantitative measurement, you have a number of qualitative measurement, you're making a quality assessment about something. We can talk about color. This is kind of a yellow candle versus... So it's like candles. Mr. Bergman is fast. That would be like what? That's a qualitative measurement. Now, yep. Mr. Bergman um, ran at a six minute per mile pace. Yeah, that's a quantitative measurement. Ah, I see. You've got yeah. numbers. Yeah. 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 Uh, All right. You know, yeah, Mr. Mr. Sam's is devilishly handsome. I think that would be a qualitative measurement. <laughs> you don't like that one? Well, you are devilishly handsome. You yeah. are you are a hunk, exactly. Mr. Sam. Exactly. Woo! Oh yeah. Check out you. My gosh. Look at that. Who? Yes. Okay. All right. You got it. Qualitative, descriptive, quantitative, mathematical. There it is. Numerical. Thanks. So, Mr. Sam's, when we're measuring things, yeah. Sometimes the numbers get really, really big. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, especially in chemistry, really, really small. Yeah. And you see, scientists are We're tired of writing all this. Lazy. Those. Chemists are lazy. They're trying to come up with a better way of writing down numbers. And the way we use is something called scientific notation. So why do we use scientific notation? Uh, that way we don't have to write all those stinking zeros before or after a number. It has to do with really big numbers or really small numbers. Yeah, and it also kind of has to do with the accuracy of our measurements, but we'll talk more about that a little bit yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. So we want to deal with this concept. So let's kind of uh, talk ourselves through this. So I have some things to measure, or measurements. I've actually mm -hmm. uh, I got off the internet at Wikipedia, I believe. Um, the sun is a very big thing. The sun. Now the sun, did you know the sun is a star? I did. I bet you did. I hope I, you did. <laughs> yeah, my son, my son knows that. My yeah. son knows the sun is a star. But, but why is Not it so far. bright compared to like all of the other stars in the sky? It's really, really close to it. Yeah. yeah. But you know the sun is huge. In fact, it, it is. is. It looks like 1.392 million kilometers in diameter. It's big. So if you draw a line across, this line from here to here is very big. Yeah. So, but we instead of saying 1,392,000 kilometers, right. we would like to write that in scientific notation. Yes. So, how do you do that, Mr. Sam? Well, you take all the numbers that aren't zeros and okay. you put a decimal between the first and second number. So that would be between the one and the three. Right. That's like. where a decimal point is going to be. So, so you'd so say 1.392. 1. 1. Now, do I need right. to use these zeros here? Um, no, you don't write those down. Yeah, you wouldn't actually. So, and you'd yeah. say times, times 10, ten to some power. Now, to figure out the power, you you go from where the decimal would have been one to the end, two, right? Two, three, three four, four, five, six. six. We moved it six places, so that's ten to the sixth power. 
Okay. There you go. Yeah. That's pretty easy. It is. Now, I bet most of you have seen this before, but it's kind of a review. And if you haven't, now you get to learn it. Yeah. Now, there's also like um, small numbers. There's small numbers. So yeah. this right here is the diameter of a typical nucleus in an atom. Now, atoms tiny. are really, really tiny things. Really tiny. And it is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 15th meter. Oh, That's wow. a small that number. That is small. Now, now, that's in scientific notation. Yeah, it's in scientific notation. So okay. we need to see if we can write this in sort of what we call regular notation, okay. a regular number. All right. Now, so what do I do here? Well, you've got the 1.6, so we're going to have a 1 and a 6 together. Yeah. And we're going to have to move the decimal point 15 spaces to the left. So we're going to start this number and go 0. Point, and I want to start counting. I need yep. to go 15 places, right. sort of. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh -oh. 13, 14, 1, 6. Now the 15th one, this is tricky. Right. One six meters. Right. Now this right here, the one, is your fifteenth place. You don't yeah. have fifteen zeros. Right. You have fifteen places. Right. So it, 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 if you want to double check your work, just if you take your decimal and kind of move it along yes. the zeros, and if one, it lands, one, two, three, four, five, da, 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 you should end right here. You should land between, between the one, the one and six. six. That'd right. be your fifteenth place. Exactly. Okay. Now notice that things with a positive exponent are yes. big numbers greater than one. And things with negative exponents are small numbers, numbers less than one. So small, the zeros are in front. Yep. And big, the zeros are behind. Yeah. So here's another big number. <clears throat> this is the speed of light. So light travels pretty fast. Zoom! Very, very fast. That was that was fast. That was fast. That was. Actually, it's faster than that. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let me see the pen. Oh, okay. If we, you know, if you take the, when we draw, I can't, where's my pen? There it is. You know, you can put the little speed. Whoosh, whoosh, Means it's going really fast. Oh, I got like you. On cartoons. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. the speed of light. The speed lines. That okay. Of something. This number looks like it really needs to be fast. put in scientific notation, Mr. Sanders. It does. It's so, too big. I don't like big numbers. So uh, the decimal goes between the two between and the nine. Between the two. Yeah. So, so two point nine eight. Two point nine eight. And then we count how many spots. Places. And went there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. That'd be seven meters not per right. second. Isn't it times ten to the eighth? It's times ten to the eighth. I think your numbers are wrong. I think this is supposed to be. I a think zero. we're missing a zero there. All right, I know it's ten to the eighth meters per second. So pretend there's an extra zero there. Yeah. Because yeah. actually, I know that answer. Okay. And then one last one: the mass of a proton. Ooh. Oh, that's a Ooh. nasty number. That's a lot of zeros. So one proton. What, what is a proton, anyways? Uh, it's Where, a positively that? charged particle in the middle of an atom. So yeah, in the middle of an atom, there's a nucleus, and then inside the nucleus is protons mm -hmm. and actually neutrons as well. And so, if I was to say well, how big is a neutron, a proton, and this is the size of a proton or the mass of a proton, I should say. Now, um, the first non-zero digit is that one. So between the one and the six is where my decimal point. Yes. So I'll say one point six seven three times ten. Now it's going to be a negative exponent because this is a small one, number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's because that's the right answer. Times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. You knew that one off the top of your head? I did know that by the top of my head, yeah. He does that, folks. He'll, he'll just pull these numbers out of who knows where and it's like, where did those come from? I've seen them for too many years. Okay, so I'm old, yes, indeed. Okay, so that is how you would do that. Pretty right. easy, right?